Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Monday, November 18th, 2019. Free pick coming up in Monday Night Football. Before I get to that, first I want to say thanks who jumped on board. Thanks to those who jumped on board for a great weekend uh, for us over at DocSports.com and at the books as we uh, cashed a 4-0 Saturday and turned right around on Sunday and hit that uh, eight-unit play in the NFL. So a real nice weekend, college and pro football combined. It all started on Thursday with the Cleveland Browns getting the win for us over the Steelers. We ended up 6-2, 75% with premium picks. We had a top elite level play sweep with the Iowa Hawkeyes and then, of course, the eight-unit play on Sunday in the NFL. So it's been a real nice run. In fact, uh, going all the way back to about four weeks now, uh, we are hitting 65% against the spread, college football and NFL combined with our premium picks. And you're talking up about $3,000 for those wagering $100 per unit real fast. Now, last year we closed the college football campaign on that 29 and 14 run. We've had a, an NFL run that's been going on for years now. And we're hot, man. We've gotten hot again. Let's, if you can hear that, knock on wood and keep it going uh, right through the rest of the regular season and into the postseason. And listen, uh, you know me, on Sunday nights, basically, I have my handicapping about 80% done for the upcoming week uh, as we just get right to it. Sundays before the lines come out, I want to know what's going on. I start working on these things uh, before the crack of dawn. As you know, I'm a, I'm a night owl, and uh, we don't get a whole lot of sleep on the weekends. And so we're about 80% done with the next week's college football card and on to the NFL. And uh, I'm going to tell you where those lines, by the way, those openers at Circa have moved, the lines that games that have had plenty of movement because those have been nice games and a nice gauge that I'll talk about in just a moment. Uh, but again, we're ready to go for the upcoming week. Now it's a matter of checking injuries and injuries that take place during the course of the week of practice, all that kind of stuff. But boy, I can't, I wish Saturday was tomorrow. I wish Sunday was two days from now and we could get right back at it. But again, thanks for those who have stayed the course. 65% on the gridiron college football and NFL over the past Last four plus weeks. We won again in the CFL. We had a big five unit play on Sunday on Winnipeg and uh, we'll be in Grey Cup action uh, between Hamilton and Winnipeg. Another CFL winning playoff run. Hit a five unit play last week. Five unit play yesterday with Winnipeg and uh, I'll be in action in the Grey Cup so be sure to check on that on Thursday is when I'll post that. As far as everything else, we had the 2-0 sweep, of course, on Saturday in UFC. Uh, we did finish the NASCAR season. I hate that the NASCAR season is done. We'll finish up 21-7 and with our last 28 NASCAR plays, going all the way back to May 1st, up over $6,000 for $100 per unit betters. I can't wait till the left turn circuit gets back underway in February. Be sure to jump on board right from the start this year uh, when it comes to NASCAR. NBA, another winner yesterday. Our last three NBA plays have been terrific. We've had a 150 to 101 win on Saturday. We had a 21 point 137 116 win on Friday with the underdog Wizards. And then yesterday on Sunday, we had the 76ers and they win 114 to 95. So we'll be in NBA action. Handicap the card, ready to go. NBA action at 1 p.m. Eastern time on Monday over at dotsports.com. It is an underdog. I think it's an undervalued underdog on Monday. Go grab that. We're now 58 and 38 with our NBA run. That's six percent against the spread. I'm in college basketball action on Monday. We didn't have a play on Sunday. Right back in action on Monday. That play available at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific time. All right, let's get to it, guys. Uh, first of all, if you have yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, give it a trial run. All you got to do is click on the link below the video and get yourself set up for a free $60 account. Use those free $60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else for that matter over at DocSports.com. Again, it is a free $60 dollar account click on the link below the video to get started and it comes with the docsports.com guarantee all right before we get to the free pick we'll do what we do on sunday nights mondays with our um, videos and that is to look and see where the numbers have moved the most on sunday in college football from the openers that the circa puts out now if you played against these blindly which i don't do but if you played against the movement blindly and back towards circa openers you know, I went four and three last week. I'll take that every week. That's about 57%, but that's probably the worst week it's had over the past month since I've really been doing this quite a bit. And, you know, let's get to the bigger movers. There, there's a bunch of little moves. There are some that are kind of borderline being picks or plays, I should say. And again, uh, we'll give you the bigger movement. And then, of course, like I said, and I'm not saying to run out and bet these blindly. I don't. We went four and oh on Saturday. I didn't play on any of those sides that went four and three. I didn't play against them. I use a more of a gauge of looking where the value has 
has disappeared from and where it has appeared to after uh, Sunday movement. So here's the first one that has some big movement. The Minnesota Golden Gophers, who we went against on Saturday and cashed with the Iowa Hawkeyes, suffered their first loss. They opened seven at Northwestern, at Evanston, and they've been bet up to 11, has Minnesota. So they're getting pretty pricey. And when you hear about sharp movement, by the way, uh, the Sharps weren't jumping in on Minnesota minus 10 and minus 10 and a half up to 11. They were jumping in on Minnesota minus 7. Now, if you're laying 11, it's not so sharp. Anyway, Minnesota, an 11-point favorite at Northwestern after opening a 7-point favorite. Other big moves, UCLA at USC. Uh, the Trojans opened 10. They are now up to 13. Staying in the Pac-12, Oregon State at Washington State. Wazoo opened 15 and a half. They're down to 12 and a half. Value back on Wazoo. Uh, Michigan State at Rutgers, Big Ten action. Michigan State open 23. They are down to 20 and a half. Louisiana Tech at UAB. I'm going to stay away from this one. I jumped in anyway on La Tech. That was our one college football loser this past week. Uh, they had those suspensions. We noted that in our write-up. Uh, but again, the quarterback looks so bad in the second half of that game. We're going to stay away. But as you can imagine, UAB getting the money. They went from a one-point home favorite up to four. Tennessee's at Mizzou. Missouri at home. Open seven against the Vols. They are down to four. And that's the big movement from Sunday. We always look at these on opening day Sunday when those lines come out for the next week. And that's what we got for this week's card. So if you missed any of that, go back, just, you know, go back on the YouTube video and, and rewatch. And again, uh, it tells us kind of where the value is now as opposed to where it was when the lines opened and uh, gives you a good gauge on what's coming up for the upcoming week and maybe some plays that you might have thought you wanted to jump in on, but if you missed the line move, you might want to rethink and stay against that now. Let's get to uh, our free pick for Monday Night Football. And I'm going to back the Kansas City Chiefs here, minus the points, getting a little bit healthier. I think the offensive line will be able to block. Remember what we said before the season on the wrap on Mad Dog Radio with Patrick Maher on v -Sin. We're on every Friday afternoon. We talked about the offensive line for the Chargers being really bad. I mean, just not a good offensive line. Even Pouncey didn't grade well at center. So it was a situation where we thought this team was a little bit overvalued. And, and if you go up against Kansas City, you can establish that running game. But not if you don't have a good offensive line. I don't think the Chargers are going to be able to accomplish what they want to here, which is probably going to be a run first based offense. And then, you know, let uh, what they want to do is then let, of course, their quarterback, Phillip Rivers, try to pick KC apart. I know KC's defense is vulnerable. There's no doubt about it. I just don't like this Charger offensive line. If they come through on money, then that's the way it goes. But what we've seen all season is a Charger offensive line that has let that offense down. I think Kansas City will be fine against the Charger defense. So we're going to recommend a play on the KC Chiefs minus the points. Monday Night Football from Mexico City. Kansas City minus the points, a free pick on Monday. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Monday in the win column right back here, Tuesday, 5 a.m. Eastern. 2 a.m. Pacific.